Hello everyone and welcome back to Engineering Lee. In our today's video about Microsoft Project, I will show you how to add lags and leaks to your activities in Microsoft Project. If you are interested more about leads and lags in project management and how to create such a schedule using Microsoft Project and assign resources to your schedule, there are another videos in this YouTube channel to which I will leave the link in the description of this video. In some cases, the client, the customer, the line manager will not be happy about the duration that you have initially estimated for your project. Or there might be some activities in your project for which will you need a break after its completion until you can start the next activity. The primary reason that we use leads and lags in our project schedules is that we want to either fast track our project schedule where we can perform different activities in parallel or in some cases we might need a break or some amount of time until we can start the next activity once the predecessor activity is completed. So how do we add leads and lags to your schedule activities in Microsoft Project? Let's take this to right here as you can see, the predecessors and successors for all the activities are given. So for example, we want to start the design before the survey is completed. Or start the installation before the design is completed. To do that, there are two different methods. Method number one, right click in the Gantt chart area and show split. Let's select survey. The resource name, the predecessor, and everything is given. In here, we want to see only the predecessors and successors and the relationship between these activities. For that purpose, right-click in this area, click the predecessors and successors. Only the predecessors and successors will be shown. As you can see, the predecessor activity for surveys, the start milestone, and the successor activity is the design. On the right here, as you can see, the lag is zero days. So if you increase this lag to a positive number, it will be lag. If you decrease it to a negative number, it will result in lead. For example, let's make it minus one day. Click OK. And as you can see, the design activity came forward by one day. And as you can see, the relationship with the successor is, its successor is the third activity, and the relation type is finish to start, and minus one day, it has a one day lead. If we increase it, for example, to two days, click OK, there will be a gap between these two activities. Furthermore, I want to bring this installation a bit backwards. To do that, in here, as you can see, the successor is activity number four, or the predecessor for installation is activity number three. You can do it in here or in here. For example, in here I will click and I will write down finish to start minus, for example, I want to lead that activity by three days. I'll write down three and press enter. And as you can see, the installation came backward by three days. So this is how you add leads and lags to the activities of your project schedule. Besides that, if you want to change the relationship types, which we had four types of relationships, which was the finish to start, start to start, start to finish, and finish to finish. For example, the closing procurement, which is connected to activity number four, which is the installation, should be start to start. To do that, we have two different methods. Number one, if you click on this activity, in here, we can change the type to start to start. And click OK, and this activity will start once installation starts. Besides that, I will undo this. You can type in here, double S or start to start. Press enter, it will come as start to start. And another problem appeared here, which is the over allocated resources, which we resolved in our previous video. I will leave the link to that video as well. If you are interested, you can watch the resource leveling video and learn how to level the resources. I hope you liked the contents of this video. If you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.